Hi everyone, we are back with Outside the Lanes. We are on Terry, this is Kelsey. We are here at the Hilton Inn downtown near Kirkwood. And we are here for the American Track League. We have a lot, a lot of great athletes here, professional athletes here. Lola Jones, Lashinda Davis, Trail uh, Kimmins. Dee Dee Trotter. D. Trotter. Got them all. Yeah. You said you were excited to be somewhere in the U.S. and you were really excited to come to Bloomington. Um, have you been able to explore Bloomington at all yet? No, I just got in and then I kind of took a quick nap so I've been up since 4 a.m. but I'm going to go do a shakeout right after this interview, kind of jog around and you know, check out some good food. What do you okay. recommend? What restaurant? Um, well, I don't know if you want that cheeseburger tonight. Oh, no. Not no, for tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> um, what would I recommend? Malibu Grill is um, kind of around the corner okay. from here on the square, so that's a good place. But the girls on the team also really wanted me to ask you what your favorite ice cream flavor is because that's one of our favorite things to do as a team is go to get ice cream. Oh yeah? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. I mean, all flavors are my favorite. <laughs> all flavors are your favorite? <laughs> I, I don't know. All I know is for bobsled, they would have like an ice cream of the day. So like okay. in the Olympic uh, cafeteria, they would just they'd switch out the ice cream. And so there's like two two different types every day. And like every day I was just like, oh, I'm not going to like today's. But it was like every day I was having ice cream. So no so. flavor, just ice cream. Just ice cream. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, you're going to have to try chocolate mousse in Bloomington okay. before you leave. I'm a big chocolate fan, yes. so that will be good. And then after the meet, the boys on the team will all fight to take you for your cheeseburger. So just wanted to let you know that. Um, but we're really excited to have you in Bloomington. Uh, so I have dinner and dessert. You have dinner and dessert prepared, so there you go. Hanging out with what the team. What is your PB in the football? I've never, I'm, well, I actually have attempted it. I tried it a year ago. Okay. We're just out there hanging out, and I was like, let me try it. And there's a video somewhere surfacing on the internet. I don't know if you can find it. I doubt you could, because I wanted to get it off, but it was off. I don't even think the stream was up. Like, the their practice height, not, I, don't, I think it was oh, just empty space. Oh, okay. I think it was just an empty space, and I still couldn't get over the empty space. So. Oh, well, that's yeah. probably safer well, it was my first least. time going down. Yeah, so. I think you could be good at it, though. But I went for it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what matters. Could you talk a little bit about just the transition between bobsled and coming back on the track and kind of like where what are your goals at this point in the season what are you kind of focusing on just coming back from that right now I'm just worried about you know getting my fitness back for track okay. you know every track athlete knows what it's like to kind of be out of rhythm and like you know you're in shape but you're just not having to perform what you want so I haven't been on the track in a while so I'm kind of cautious to see where I'm at. Um, okay. I think the, the hardest thing with going back and forth from two sports is I didn't have a, a lot of downtime. So I had like maybe two days off the whole two years going back and forth. So when Bob's live would end, the girls would go on a month long vacation and I'd, you know, I'd go straight to track and then track and then I'd see all my track athletes and friends just hanging out on the beach and I'm going straight to like winter. So um, that was a difficult task, but I encourage anybody who you know, is a track and field athlete and, and they are they love competing, but like maybe they're just like haven't reached that height that they want to reach in track and field. They're right there and they, they want to go to the Olympics and maybe they, they just don't feel like they're going to be talented enough to go for, you know, track and field, but they should definitely try to be a bobsled athlete because there's so many athletes that I learned from a bobsled group that were, you know, they stopped running track like in high school or they stopped running track after a year or two in college and bobsled ended up being a really good fit for them. They ended up being better bobsled athletes than they were originally track and field athletes. And um, it's hard to recruit for bobsled just because there's no bobsled team in the U.S. There's no high school bobsled team. And so if you don't kind of get used to it or you don't know if you'll be good at it, you kind of have to get recruited. So if there's any Anybody on the track team that wants to maybe go to a Winter Olympics, it, it definitely fits a lot of us track athletes. So. Just one more question. I know um, you were talking about how the American Track League will kind of um, encourage the youth to continue competing and really pursue their goals. What advice do you have for people especially who are kind of on the brink of maybe being able to break into um, the elite circuit? but? aren't quite there yet or don't have the resources because I've heard a lot of people talk where they, they give up training and they start working yeah. because well, it's tough just because we used to have so many races in Europe that I, I would just tell the younger athletes, I would like, just go over there and run until your legs fall off. Like, just keep keep competing. That's all that matters right now. Well, we lost a lot of those races in, the, in Europe, and so now with them bringing the American Track League over in the U.S., we have eight new races, eight opportunities for a young athlete to get experience against, you know, 
four-time Olympians, Olympic champions, and kind of, you know, see where they're at and, you know, not give up on their dream and kind of have, you know, get better and better with each race. So it's really pivotal that this American Track League takes off. Otherwise, our sport will suffer in future Olympics, you know. Uh, I've seen so many of my friends who I know in my heart would have made Olympic teams, but they just couldn't do it anymore. They're like, I can't, you know, I'm not making any money at my college degree. I'm just going to go take this regular job as opposed to, like, staying and training and not racing. So, cool. Well, thanks. Huh? Hurdle, so how could I not be good at it? It's just one hurdle that keeps getting higher and higher. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good way to think about it. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> no, don't try my technique. <laughs> okay. Stick with pole technique.